This type of fragrance is named after Cologne, the German city where it was invented. Germany's fourth largest city with 1 million residents was heavily bombed during World War II. As a result, Cologne is a quite modern city, though remnants of its rich history, dating from Roman times, can still be found. Straddling the banks of the Rhine, this city is one of the most visited destinations in Germany and there are plenty of great tourist attractions in Cologne, both ancient and new. In this video, we explore the best tourist attractions in Cologne. We've collected a list of the top tourist attractions in Cologne, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number 1, Cologne Cathedral. Dominating and defining the city and its skyline are the tall towering twin spires of the colossal Cologne Cathedral. Visible for countless kilometers around, the unmissable, iconic landmark boasts some astounding architecture with its enormous interior being every bit as impressive. One of the tallest cathedrals in the world, its two towers remarkably stand 157 meters in height. While construction of the hulking Great Gothic Church started in 1248, it was only completed centuries later in 1880. Beneath its soaring roof supported by elegant pillars, you can now find all kinds of glittering treasures and religious artworks. Number 2. Hohenzollern Bridge Of the seven bridges that cross the Rhine River in Cologne, the Hohenzollern Bridge is the most famous thanks to its location near the cathedral. The construction of the original bridge took place from 1907 to 1911. In 1945, German military engineers blew up the bridge when Allied troops began their assault on Cologne. Just three years later the bridge was partially repaired and in 1959 the Hohenzollernbruck was completely reconstructed. Due to its location near Cologne's main train station about 1,200 trains pass here every day. A pedestrian walkway allows visitors to cross the Rhine for a beautiful view of the skyline of Cologne. Number 3. Botanical Gardens Flora Full of colorful plants, flowers, trees and shrubs, the Botanical Gardens Flora is an absolute treat to stroll around. Immaculately maintained, its lush grounds and lovely greenhouses cover a huge area on the northeastern outskirts of the center. Nestled alongside the Colmer Zoo, its almost endless lawns and fetching flower beds were first opened to the public in 1863. At its center is a glass and ironclad orangery modeled on the famous Crystal Palace in London. Number 4. Augustusburg Palace When in town, it is well worth taking a trip to the ostentatious Augustusburg Palace in the nearby Brühl. Home to loads of artistic treasures, its stately apartments, halls and gardens are amazing to amble around. Only accessible on guided tours, it lies 20 minutes south of the center by car or public transport. Certainly one of the finest Rococo creations in the country, the palace was erected by the Archbishop Elector of Cologne in 1725. Ornately decorated and furnished, its endless rooms each have their own unique theme and color. Number 5. Kölner Zoo Home to all kinds of exotic animals, birds and reptiles is the outstanding Kölner Zoo. One of the oldest in the country, its spacious enclosures and state-of-the-art exhibits occupy romantic-looking menagerie buildings from the 19th century. Despite having been established in 1860, the zoo is amazingly up-to-date with brand new facilities being added all the time. These modern features have been retrofitted into old buildings such as its Moorish-style elephant house and ornate birdhouse. On show are over 10,000 animals including orangutans, gorillas, lions, and hippos. Number 6. Museum Ludwig As it houses one of Europe's most important modern art collections, Museum Ludwig really is a must for art aficionados. While its many masterpieces by Picasso normally steal the show, there are plenty of paintings, photos and prints by other famed artists to examine. 
Lying alongside the cathedral and river, it occupies part of the modern, purpose-built museum complex constructed in the 80s. Named for Peter and Irene Ludwig who donated their collection, its galleries are mostly dedicated to 20th century works. Number 7. Fantasialand Long a firm favorite with families, Fantasialand has lots of fun rides, roller coasters and games for everyone to enjoy. The super popular theme park can be reached in half an hour's drive from Cologne Center, just past neighboring Brawl. Since opening in 1967, its grounds have expanded considerably with there now being six themed worlds to explore. Each part of the park, whether it is Berlin and Mexico or fantasy and mystery, has new attractions, foods, and shows to discover. Number 8. Cologne City Hall Certainly one of its most important and impressive buildings, Cologne City Hall lies right in the heart of the Altstadt. Since medieval times, it has acted as the city's seat of government with the Lord Mayor's office still based here. The oldest city hall in Germany still in use, the Rathaus was built in the 12th century with its Renaissance-style loggia and Gothic-style tower having only been added later on. Coating their exterior are 130 intricately detailed sculptures, many of which depict influential figures from throughout the city's history. Number 9. Hanentorberg One of the last remaining parts of the city's once formidable fortifications is the huge Hanentorberg on Rudolfplatz. Now a nice photo stop, it was through the gate that royal guests used to pass on their way to the cathedral shrine of the Three Kings. Once numbering 12 in total, the lovely landmark is now one of just four medieval city gates still standing. At last in the list, number 10, Cologne Cable Car. For some of the best views imaginable of the city, take a relaxing ride on the Cologne cable car. Known in German as the Rheinsaubin, it connects the botanical garden and zoo to the enormous green expanse of Rhein Park. The first cable car in Europe to cross above a river, it was first unveiled in 1957. It has since proved a popular attraction with locals and tourists alike. Now stretching 930 meters in total, it takes 6 minutes to get from one side of the Rhine to the other. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite tourist attractions in Cologne. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.